Mr. DeLay, would you please stand and face the jury? And would the foreperson please stand? Madam foreperson, has the jury reached a verdict in this case? Yes, we have. And how do you find, Madam foreperson, on charge ID ending in 411C, charging reckless conduct, guilty or not guilty? Guilty. You say, Madam Foreman, that the verdict is guilty on reckless conduct. So say you all, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Um, and in charge ID ending in 962, charging second degree murder, um, alleging knowingly causing the death of Timothy Pouliot, how do you find Madam Foreman guilty or not guilty? You say, Madam Foreman, that the verdict of reckless, of knowing second degree murder is guilty. So say you all, ladies and gentlemen. And in the charge of second degree murder, alleging a, um, uh, causing the death of Timothy Pouliot under circumstances manifesting extreme indifference to the value of human life. How do you find Madam Foreman guilty or not guilty? Guilty. Say, Madam Foreman, that the verdict is guilty on that charge as well. So say you all, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. yes. Thank you. So okay. the clerk will ask each of you individually for your individual verdict with respect to each of the charges. Okay. So we're going to start with the reckless conduct charge, and I'm going to go in, in numerical order. So uh, when I go, in, indicate your number, would you please stand and, and, and answer the question? So uh, juror number one on the charge of reckless conduct, what is your verdict, guilty or not guilty? Guilty. Thank you. Juror number two, what is your individual verdict of reckless conduct? Guilty. Thank you. Juror number three, what is your individual verdict on the reckless conduct charge? Thank you. Juror number four, what is your individual verdict? Guilty. Thank you. Juror number five, what is your individual verdict? Guilty. Thank you. Juror number six, what is your individual verdict? Guilty. Thank you. Juror number seven, what is your individual verdict? Guilty. Thank you. Juror number eight, what is your individual verdict? Guilty. Thank you. Juror number nine, what is your individual verdict? Guilty. Juror number ten, what is your individual verdict? Guilty. Thank you. Juror number 13, what is your individual verdict of reckless conduct? Mm -hmm. Thank you. And juror number 14, what is your individual verdict on reckless conduct? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, now, on the second degree murder charge alleging the uh, um, knowingly causing the death of Timothy Puglio, juror number one, what is your individual verdict? Guilty. Thank you. Juror number two, what is your individual verdict? Guilty. Thank you. Juror number three, what is your individual verdict? Thank you. Juror number four, what is your individual verdict? Guilty. Juror number five, what is your individual verdict? Guilty. Juror number six, what is your individual verdict? Guilty. Thank you. Juror number seven, what is your individual verdict? Guilty. Thank you. Juror number eight, what is your individual verdict? Guilty. Juror number nine, what is your individual verdict? Guilty. And juror number ten, what is your individual verdict? Guilty. Juror number thirteen, what is your individual verdict? You. And juror number 14, what is your individual verdict? Thank you. We'll now pull the jurors on charge ID ending 410C, which is second degree murder, in that the um, John DeLee rec recklessly caused the death of Timothy Pouliot under circumstances manifesting an extreme indifference to the value of human life. Um, juror number one, what is your individual verdict? Guilty. Thank you. Juror number two, what is your individual verdict? Juror number three, what is your individual verdict? Guilty. Juror number four, what is your individual verdict? Guilty. Juror number five, what is your individual verdict? Guilty. Juror number six, what is your individual verdict? Guilty. Juror number seven, what is your individual verdict? Guilty. Juror number eight, what is your individual verdict? Guilty. Juror number nine, what is your individual verdict? Guilty. Juror number ten, what is your individual verdict? Guilty. Juror number thirteen, what is your individual verdict? And juror number 14, what is your individual verdict? Thank you. I guess for the record, I think the jurors you listed are based on their current seats. They, I think it was, if I recall correctly, seven. Yeah, you're, thir you're, you're 14 and 15, right? Yes. And okay. Correct. Because um, 12 and 13 were the alternate size was seven. So um, just, for, just so the record's clear that there hasn't been any substitution. That, that's the original 12 jurors. Um, that were picked. Okay, um, so ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your service. I'll come back and thank you informally. I just need to talk to the lawyers very briefly, but I won't detain you. All rise, please.
or based on the verdict, the uh, bail will um, remain, um, no bail hold, and um, I'll have you work with the clerk to schedule a uh, sentencing date. Um, either, does either side ask for a formal uh, pre-sentence investigation report? I'll, I'll be candid. I tend to find the party's sentencing memorandum more helpful than a PSI, but if you want it, I, I'd consider it. No. Okay. Not from the state, right? Okay. All right. Uh, so I'll have you work with the clerk to pick a date. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> Light at the end of the tunnel.